The Carboniferous period is often remembered for its towering club mosses and ancient trees, but beneath those giants, another group was quietly shaping the future of plant life, the true ferns. Belonging to the group Filicales, these plants may not have reached the heights of scale trees or lepidodendrons, but they conquered the forest floor like no other. Today, their descendants still thrive across the world, from rainforests to cracks in city walls. In those ancient swampy forests, true ferns formed dense carpets of greenery. Their large, divided fronds fanned out across the damp ground, competing fiercely for space and sunlight. Unlike seed plants, they reproduced through spores. Tiny microscopic units that floated through the moist air and settled wherever conditions allowed. It was an ancient method of reproduction, but in the high humidity world of the Carboniferous, it worked brilliantly, ferns were masters of survival in these wet environments. Their underground rhizomes helped anchor them to the soil, while their fronds grew quickly to capture precious sunlight filtering through the dense canopy above. Some species crept close to the ground, forming thick undergrowth, while others stretched higher, resembling small shrubs or even tree-like forms in certain regions, the success of true ferns wasn't just about their biology, but their timing. After the Devonian period when plants first colonized land in large numbers, the Carboniferous provided the perfect stage warm climates, endless rainfall, and vast lowland swamps. Ferns, with their simple but effective spore-based reproduction, rapidly filled every available niche under the forest giants. But these weren't the only fern-like plants around. Seed ferns and towering lycopsids also shared the stage. Yet true ferns held their own, quietly expanding their range and laying the foundation for millions of years of evolutionary success. Even as new groups like seed plants and conifers emerged, ferns never disappeared. Their ability to thrive in shady, wet conditions kept them alive, even through mass extinctions and climate shifts, the true ferns of the Carboniferous remind us that evolution isn't just about size or domination from above. Sometimes, survival belongs to those who master the world beneath, spreading low, reproducing simply, and holding their ground where others cannot. Their legacy is all around us today, hidden in plain sight.